Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to really quickly demonstrate a way to validate URL syntax using the Cloudmersive Data Validation Connector in Power Automate. This is very similar to another product we've demonstrated in the past, which fully validates URLs, and you can certainly rely on that one, but the chief advantage here is simplicity. This connector will just let you know if a URL is valid from text input, and if it is, it'll return a well-formed URL, which can be used further down in your flow. As always, I'm setting up an instant cloud flow, giving my flow a name, and then clicking Create to head to the Flow Diagram page. Once there, I'm clicking New Step and searching for Cloud Immersive Connectors. We're going to want the Data Validation Connector from the list of options below, so let's click on that one and head to the Actions list. If you haven't used our connectors before, you'll encounter a connector login step before you reach the Actions list, which requires an API key. You can get one for free by visiting our website and registering a free account, and once you have that, you can simply copy and paste it into the appropriate field. Putting that aside, now that we're on the actions list, let's search Validate URL and select the option to validate syntactically rather than fully. When we click on that, we'll have one simple request parameter to fulfill. I'm just going to type in cloudmersive.com to demonstrate. Once we copy in our URL, let's save and test. After the test finishes running, let's look at our connector output and review the results. Like I said before, simplicity is the main benefit here. We get two basic responses from this connector, which we can use to enhance the next steps in our flow. If our URL is invalid, we don't want it going anywhere, so we can use the valid URL boolean to dictate if our flow should stop running. After that, we have the well-formed URL response, which reformatted my cloudmersive.com input to include HTTP, colon, and backslashes that I didn't originally include. Since the well-formed URL only shows up if the URL is valid, we can easily use this dynamic content to fulfill downstream parameters in our flow, rather than utilize a poorly formed URL that I originally typed in. That's just about all there is to show on this front, so thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please feel free to check out dozens of additional product demonstrations on our channel.